Does everyone know what a political party flat platform is? I see nods. Okay, good. Um, so just the set of beliefs, beliefs that are accepted as the characteristic of a particular political party to help the public know what principles and values that party stands for. Who are you? What do you stand for? Um, so what happened in Oregon in 2018? So over 500 delegates from across Oregon met to pass an extraordinary people's-centric platform and legislative agenda items and did so with exceptional unity. So we have a platform that is something to be very proud of here in Oregon for what the Democratic Party stands for here in this state. So sample platform components, uh, we support the rights of all Oregonians to access the basic necessities of life such as food, water, health care, sleep, and shelter. We believe that undocumented immigrants and workers and their families should have a path to legal residency and eventually citizenship. We believe that money is not speech. Oh, lots. Hmm. We believe that money is not speech, and government at all levels should be re regulate, limit, and prohibit campaign contributions and expenditures to restrict the influence of private or corporate wealth in the election of candidates. That's right. Is that is because otherwise you can't have a democracy. So yay. Um, we support strong labor laws and eliminate, uh, elimination of the at-will employment laws. <laughs> yeah, right? We affirm the right to organize for collective bargaining free of intimidation, of coercion, supply the Employee Free Choice Act, card check, and oppose any legislation such as the right to work and fair share limitation measures that would restrict these rights. Yeah. So, so this platform is amazing, and this is agreed upon for all of Oregon. Something to be proud of. Um, another one, we support equal pay for equal work without qualification. Right? Because we don't have that at the federal level. Right, ladies? Um, Oregon Democrats fully support tribal sovereignty and tribal ju jurisdiction by honoring treaties and federal statutes that are the foundation of trust relationships between tribes and government. Yeah. So what does this mean for you as a PCP? So this strong people-centric platform can be used to recruit and elect candidates that support these policies, right? Because it's, it's one thing to have a platform, but we need our elected officials to take that platform and say, I'm going to make this the law of the land. And that's our next step. Um, to justify support for legislation from our elected officials. So they're here and say, this is the platform. You are a Democrat, therefore this needs to be your highest priority. And to demonstrate to non-affiliated voters that the Democratic Party is the party of the people. Because we have a huge, uh, they're called NAVs, non-affiliated voters, and the motor voters gotten them all um, registered to vote. And now we need to figure out how to get them to vote and to see that the Democratic Party is really where they should affiliate. All right, questions? Yes. Oh, that's a good question. Larry? Yeah, it should be on the DPO. Yes, if you go to dpo.org, um, there's uh, the first section is called the party. And if you go to the very bottom, uh, they list the party uh, platform and the second thing, which is called legislative agenda items. So the platform is the beliefs and the legislative agenda items are the things that we would like the legislature to enact. Can you repeat the, question? the question is, how was the platform arrived at? 
Um, they did outreach to all of the caucuses within the Democratic Party of Oregon and to all of the counties for their input. Uh, and they used prior documents and they pulled them all together. Anything that was similar, they did their best to combine them, combine the language so that uh, things weren't represented multiple times. Um, and this was an enormous amount of work that the Platform and Resolutions Committee did. And then uh, the, they also collected the legislative agenda items uh, at the same time. And then we had a convention that lasted two and a half days. Um, the, the Saturday of the convention was going over the legislative agenda items, prioritizing them, uh, and giving them in a final format to vote on. And then Sunday was spent voting on the actual planks of the, the Democratic Party of Oregon. So everybody in the convention was in one room and we voted on them. And it was, um, as we said earlier, it was amazing how little dissent and disagreement there was. And these were from representatives from all corners of the state. It wasn't any rural versus urban divide. It was uh, astonishing cohesion. The legislative agenda items were then put out for a vote and people could vote on those. And then the top, I believe 14, approximately 14, were then uh, t top 20. 22. The top 22 were then uh, designated the set that we would focus on and talk to the legislature. So we've tried over the years to close that gap between the party and the legislature so that, that the, the people in the legislature understand the issues that are most important to their, their constituents. Yes? Is that a comprehensive list of the platform? No. Oh, I know. It's just some highlights. We would be here until midnight if we went through the whole thing. It's, it's actually an extraordinary document and the, the, it's very well written. So it's not, you know, and, and, and some of the concepts are kind of hard to explain. So uh, it's, it's a very long document and you're, you can read it. And you should, <laughs> because it strengthens your position to recruit people for sure. Correct. Yes. Damn. Loose. <laughs> so the platform defines um, what Oregonians believe. The platform at the national level is assembled by the Democratic National Committee. Uh, the last one was assembled by a, a committee that was comprised of appointees by Debbie Wasserman Schultz, uh, the Clinton campaign, and the Bernie Sanders campaign. And they met several times to negotiate the contents of the national platform. And if you remember, uh, uh, there were some things that, that uh, Senator Sanders was very adamant about, and uh, he, he and he we were he was successful in getting those included. So it's it's a compromise process. No one gets everything they want, but uh, it, it 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 does move forward. The question was, uh, how similar is Oregon's platform to the platform of other states? I have not looked at the platform of other states, so I don't know. I would guess that there are, uh, there's certainly a core set of values that you find consistent amongst all those, like women's rights and uh, pro probably um, um, education, shelter, you know, the things that, that really define the Democratic Party. I would expect those to be consistent across the board. 